33. 33 once, twice. Hey guys, what's poppin'? Jacques Slade here, back with another unboxing, and today I am in Portland, Oregon for this unboxing, and I have what I'm gonna say is a designer. He's a designer, and he's, uh, should I say fisherman? He's a fisherman? Yeah. And he's a fisherman, and that all comes together with this shoe. Ladies and gentlemen, Tylen here. Hello. So, he is a part of the Dornbecker Freestyle Program, which you guys know about. They, uh, the shoes go towards the hospital and help raise funds for the hospital for kids that are in need. And Thailand's design is something that I think you guys are really, really going to like. This shoe hasn't been getting a lot of love lately, but Thailand's going to definitely change that with his design. So, let's take a look inside and see what we have. It is a shoe that is a signature for an athlete, Stefan Janoski, the Janoski. These always get a ton of love. So you have done some very special things to this shoe, I'll say, and you've made it look very, very, very unique. I can honestly say, as a sneaker guy, I haven't seen a design like this before, which I think is good because it makes your design unique and you're just a part of a unique club. There aren't very many people that have actually had the opportunity to design to design a shoe, and uh, I'm a little jealous, if I'm gonna be honest. So let's start with the just the upper of the shoe, or let's just talk about the main theme. Like, what's the main theme of the design? Uh, the main theme of the design is just fishing. I really like fishing and to be kind, just because you never know what anybody's going through. So that was I wanted to add that with fishing also. That's awesome. So do fishing, what, what is it about fishing that you that you like so much? It's just like, there's so many like things that you can catch. Like, it's like, um, they're limitless. Limitless? It's, it's really cool. What's the, uh, the biggest fish you've ever caught? Three pounds and 20 inches. Three pounds and 20 inches. Wow. I can honestly say that I've never caught a fish that big, which again, I, you're just making me jealous this whole video, but it's cool. You know, we'll get through it. We'll get through it together. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the colors. So I see there's blue, there's yellow, there's gray. What was the, what was the inspiration behind those colors? I basically was in my room one night and I was just trying to like mess with colors, see what would look good. And uh, I found these colors and I was like, okay, I'll try this. And I planned it out and I was like, okay, I love these colors. So talking about that design process, how, how was that? Did you go to Nike's campus or how did that, how did that come about? Did they come to yeah, you? Did no, you go we, to them? We went to the campus to get all the textures and everything. Oh, everything together? Yeah. Oh, so you got to go in like Nike's design studio? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So you, you got to pick out the colors and you picked out the colors on your own and you're just mm -hmm. drawing and doodling. With that, that's cool. You know what? There's a, there's a designer at, at Nike, a guy named Tinker Hatfield. He designed a lot of Michael Jordan shoes mm -hmm. and he didn't design a lot of them while he was actually at work. He kind of designed them like in his free time and he was just kind of like outside of yeah. the world and just was kind of like on his own and kind of put the designs mm -hmm. together. So I guess there, there's some truth to that, that when your mind's free and you're not thinking about it, you can kind of put things together. Yeah. That looks really cool. Did you pick the, uh, looks like this is suede. Yeah. And there's also some mesh here. Mesh, yeah. Pick those for a reason. Uh, no, I just, I was looking through them and I guess I just found those ones and I really liked them. Those are materials that you like the most? Yeah. Um, now these laces, these laces are pretty unique. They're kind of like an off-white in there, like fuzzy. What's yeah. the inspiration behind those? Uh, it's basically to like, a replica of like a boat rope to, to like tied to a dock kind of thing. And then the insoles, the insoles they say be kind, but they're also made out of cork. What mm -hmm. was the what was the inspiration behind the cork? I just really thought it matched good with the laces, so I. Oh right, and cork is really soft too yeah. as well. And then you also have actually have a second set of, of insoles that are gonna come with your shoes. So if someone doesn't like the cork for some reason, yep. they can put in these and they actually have zoom at the bottom. I'm not sure if the, I don't think the cork has zoom, but these have zoom, which makes yep. them a little softer. Uh, now there's a pattern on these uh, for you guys, so you guys can see it there. Uh, and it's underwater, it looks like there's fish and rocks. Is there, is this a particular fish that you like? Or you just like the, the fish pattern? I just like just one the, of the pattern, inspiration. Would, yeah, really good. that's a really good inspiration. Uh, and then the yellow, I saw the yellow pops out too here. I love it, how they use it on the stitching and everything. Uh, now, something that I think is really cool that you can't, that most people actually won't even get to see is the bottom of the shoe. It has a translucent outsole. And why did you, why did you choose to have the translucent outsole? Uh, it basically kind of sh like replica, replica like um, the fish, like clear water and like. You know, ah, yeah. that makes sense. That's very cool. 
That's a cool touch. And it says, does that say be kind to there it's, as well? Yes, it says be kind. And what's the what's the be kind? What is that? Where does that come from? Uh, I have a YouTube channel, and I I just tell every, at the end of every video I say be kind because you never know what anybody's going through, and you just yeah. Oh, very cool. Now the shoes that you made, your design, is going to go towards the Dornbecker auction, and mm -hmm. the auction goes it sends money to to the uh, to the hospital. So let's go actually go to the auction and see what the auction went, what yeah. the price was for your shoes. All right. My name is Tylen Hibbard and I'm 15 years old and I have a heart condition called truncus arteriosus. I really like to fish. I like to ride my bike, do wheelies. Um, I really like scooter riding and making videos. At the end of every video, I just say, and don't forget to be kind. Ty is genuinely one of the best hearted people I ever met in my entire life. We feel very blessed that we get to call him our son. Um, I was uh, about seven months pregnant. They actually didn't think he was going to make it at all. So we went up to Dornbecker for a second opinion. So we delivered up there. This is the scariest baby you'll ever see because there was no signs of anything wrong with him other than he had the heart condition. We had a whole team ready for him. All of his surgeries have been eight to ten hours. My surgeon was awesome, both of them. From counselors to the anesthesiologists, to the nurses. I mean, they are all just such A-plus people. So I designed the Stefan Janowski SB Zoom. It's like such a cool way to just kind of like turn your ideas into reality. On the inside of it, I've got like a fish pattern. The laces on my shoe uh, will have almost like a fishing rope to hold the boat in. On the inside of the hat, it says, be kind all over the place. The hoodie has a fish pattern on the inside and it has be kind right here. We wouldn't be where we are today without Dornbecker for sure. All right, so um, I love your text. It's very classic. Good job. Okay, where do we start? 6,000. Start right here. 7,000. 10,000, 12,000, 15,000. We were at 17, then what? 20,000. 21. 24. 24. 25. 25, do you have anything you want to say? You felt like 21. Don't, uh, be kind. <laughs> Twenty-five once, twenty-five twice, twenty-six, twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand. We gotta jump to thirty thousand. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. This is like home. Michael! Where are you? You take the garbage out, the guy's coming. <laughs> So there you go, uh, big shout out to Thailand. So that was a lot of money raised for the auction. Yeah. How does that, how does it make you feel to know that all that money is gonna go to the hospital and that you were like the reason behind that? It makes me feel so good. It, Cause I, that hospital's done so much for me and my family. So it's, it's awesome. That's awesome. Can, speaking about the hospital, can you talk to me a little bit about why, why you were actually in the hospital and what happened? Uh, so I was born with a heart condition called truncus arteriosus and I had my first surgery when I was five days old, and uh, 
had my second surgery when I was 11 and I ended up getting a cow valve and then two years later I had to get a mechanical valve and they put that in and I had that surgery two years ago at Dornbecker. Oh wow, so big shout out to the doctors and all the people mm -hmm. at Dornbecker yeah. that, that, that helped make that happen for you. Uh, is there any doctors or anyone there in particular that, that really stood out to you that helped you a lot? I couldn't choose one, there's so many. So. There's so many, yeah, yeah, there's really great people at Dornbecker. Well, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Um, your design, these actually come out in just a few weeks. You guys check down in the description and we'll give you all of that information. But one last thing, Talon actually has a YouTube channel. Yep. So make sure you subscribe to him. I'm going to put his link down in the description. So you guys make sure you go and check him out. Now, I usually sign off my videos going at Jacques Lay, just to let you guys know. I appreciate you and I'll see you soon. Peace. But. Let's skip that and let's sign off how you would sign off on one of your videos and let them know. All right. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to be kind. See ya. Peace.